let's look at some extra bit of information and some configuration for new asset accounting let's look at the technical changes for new asset accounting so how it was done before and how it's done now in simple finance so before the actual data was stored in the ANEK which is a document head asset posting ANEP assets line items ANEA asset line items for proportional values ANLC asset value fields and ANLP ANLP is so asset periodic values tables but going forward now all the line item values are now stored in the ACDOCA table which is a universal journal entry table and the header of line at header information of course the BKPF is still stored in the BKPF tables so all the information from A and EK is still stored in BKPF and rest of the line item information is stored in ACDOCA table and there is always a compatibility view because for any programs which is pointing to the old tables there are compatibility views which will ensure that it points to the ACDOCA table and those compatibility views are named as FAAV I'm guessing FA is for fixed assets and something with AV underscore the table name so for example if the program is pointing to the A and EP table the compatibility view is called FAAV underscore A and EP now all the other non-actual data that is including statistical data plan data year dependent attributes of fixed assets are not stored in ACDOCA remember only the actual data for fixed assets is stored in ACDOCA all the non-actual data are not stored in ACDOCA for example the statistical data is stored in the FAAT underscore DOC underscore IT table the plan data is again stored in the FAAT underscore plan underscore values table and year dependent attributes of fixed assets is stored in the FAAT underscore YDDA table so all the non-actual data are stored in tables starting with FAAT all the actual data are stored now in ACTOCA now this is a very important point to note if you are planning to prepare for your simple finance certification exam remember actual data is stored in ACTOCA non-actual data is not stored in ACTOCA now let's look at configuring new asset accounting the first step of course you know is to copy a reference chart of depreciation now, if you look at this asset accounting new menu over here you can see asset accounting new you get migration asset accounting new this is the same as preparation for migration of new asset accounting we will come to this phase later for now let's look at the organization structures and you can see copy reference chart of depreciation so this is the first step that you should use now here you should copy the reference chart of depreciation you can copy from the sample template provided by SAP to the one which you want to use going forward now I have just copied the sample depreciation for Australia so it's called AU01 so I'll be using this as my chart of depreciation going forward then the next step of you know is to assign an input tax indicator for non-taxable assets purchases let's see that thing assign input tax indicator for non-taxable acquisitions it's pretty much the same like how you used to do before in ERP 6 let's just execute the transactions and for here your company code for my company code I'm going to put ZDBNM over here and then I just put P0 this is for non-taxable transactions to use this tax code